Hello, my most amazing artists, and welcome back to art class. This week, we are going to be creating a Lego self-portrait. So remember, a self-portrait is a picture that of you that you draw yourself, except this time, instead of making it realistic, you are going to draw yourself as a Lego figure. So I am going to bring you through the steps step by step and then show you a couple different hairstyles and different ideas and you are going to make it look like yourself. This is one that I did a few years ago in class. If we were doing these in school they'd be on much bigger paper but we're going to I'm going to do this one on a smaller piece of paper because this is probably more realistic compared to what you have at home. Um, this is one that I did a while ago and I decided to use it to showcase different things about myself. For example, it was a necklace that I was wearing. I had my staff ID around my neck. Um, I had a picture of my cat. I drew myself holding a paintbrush because I, you know, I'm an art teacher and I like to also create art. And then I had my hair, um, still coloring yourself yellow like a Lego. All right, I want you to pretend that you, you know, work at the Lego factory and you've been asked to make a Lego that looks like you. What would that Lego look like? So um, you can follow along with me. I'm going to show you step by step how to create the Lego figure. It's basically going to look pretty similar to this, just without the piece at the top, because like I said, I'm also going to show you some different hairstyles to help you customize it and make it look more like you. So let's get started drawing those Legos. So you start drawing our Lego self-portrait, we're going to start off with the head, and when we look at the example paper, it does have that little piece at the top if you were to click something onto it, but we're going to leave that little part off. So we are going to start with the head, which is basically a square, but with rounded corners, not sharp ones. I am going to draw my Lego in marker just so that you can see what I'm doing, but I would encourage you to start with pencil first, and then you can outline with marker when you are done. So I'm going to make sure I leave a little bit of room at the top of my paper for some hairstyles. So I'm going to come down a little bit, and I am going to draw a rounded square shape for my head. I don't want to make it too big. I want to keep in mind the rest of my paper because I want to fit my body somewhere around here and then I also want to have legs here. What might also help you a little bit is if you kind of figure out where you want your body to be and kind of just make a little mark there. So I know that my body won't go past this area and that my legs will fit here. So speaking of the body, now we're going to draw that, which is kind of like a trapezoid shape. It's not perfectly square. It's a little bit thinner at the top and a little bit thicker at the bottom. So where I made this little mark, I'm actually going to draw a horizontal line that comes across. I'm going to bring that over a little bit. And I'm going to come back up to my head, add a neck. I'm going to draw another horizontal line that comes across a little bit. And then I am going to connect those bits together. Again, making sure it's a little bit thinner at the top. It's going to be kind of a weird shape. Mine's a little lopsided, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? This is simply a computer printout, so it's a little bit more straight, but it can be totally fine. Then I'm going to add the arms. So the arms are kind of connected. They're very close to the side. They are connected up towards the shoulder just like your arms are so that they can move. But remember they can't really move out, they can simply move forward and backward. So I'm going to just take myself and draw a little line from my shoulder that comes down to right where my body ends right here. Now I'm going to hold off from finishing up the top half of my body and I'm actually going to do my legs first. So I'm going to have my legs come down almost to the bottom of my paper. And this is all going to include my, my feet, my legs, the whole thing. And the thing about a Lego legs is that they are connected at the top, but on the bottom, they are still apart. So you have the bottom half of your legs and your feet have a space in between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my feet in a little bit more, make sure they're not touching. And I'm going to bring this up to about there and I'm going to draw another line that goes across like that. So I have the top part. Now it is going to look a little bit like your leg is wearing a skirt for a second, but when you color these, it's going to look more like the legs. Remember, our Lego is kind of segmented into these different pieces and connected together. So this is the top part. Then I'm going to create my shoes. 
So I have my legs and my shoes. Now I can complete my arms. So I am going to actually add my hands first because it depends if you want your Lego to be wearing a long sleeve outfit or if you want to do short sleeves, it might be easier to do the hands first and then that way you can kind of start creating your outfit. So what your Lego hands actually are is they're actually kind of just bubble letter C. So I'm actually going to take my paper off and I'm going to turn it sideways like this because this is going to help me find that bubble letter C. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to draw kind of just a bubble letter C. Okay. I'm going to do it again here. I'm going to start from the bottom around. It's kind of like drawing a claw. All right. Now you can see both my hands are a little bit different. If it's a little wider like that, that's okay. If it's a little more close together, that is also good too. All right, this is an example of how, you know, even me, the art teacher, is having a little bit of a hard time here. Now, I'm going to leave my Lego like this, and now I can start adding in details. So, like I said, maybe I'm going to want my Lego to be in a short sleeve outfit this time. I had her in a long sleeve outfit with my sweater. Maybe I want to do a short sleeve. Um, these I could color blue, like blue jeans. Maybe I want to have kind of a short sleeve top with some stripes on it. So I can start adding some details to my outfit. Maybe my sleeves have stripes on them too that I could color. Um, I could do on my wrist, my Fitbit that I wear. That's a little something about me right there. For your Lego face, I want you to keep it pretty simple. All right, don't worry about making any weird eyeballs or anything crazy like that. Keep it simple. Two eyes and a smile. Girls, if you want to add some eyelashes, you totally can. Now for my hairstyle, okay, this might be the part where because you guys, I'm going to have you draw it in pencil because you might want to erase a little bit of your forehead there, but since I did it in marker, I'm just going to kind of go with it. But since my hair is a little bit shorter now, I'm going to have my part where my hair goes. And here's my short hair. So I'll make sure I color that in and then I can draw other things. So maybe I might add a horizon line to make it look like my Lego is actually standing on the ground. Um, again, I could draw myself holding the paintbrush again because I still am an art teacher and like to draw stuff. You know, I could draw my cat. I could draw Winston over here. Um, you want to create some sort of environment for your Lego person. Are they inside? Are they outside? Maybe you have a favorite soccer team. Maybe you have a favorite football team, some sort of sport that you play. All right. I want to encourage you guys. Remember, it's a self-portrait. So you want to make this Lego figure really look like you. So like I said, maybe you have a favorite sports team. Maybe you play a sport. Do you play soccer or football? Um, do you do gymnastics? Are you on the swim team? You can draw your Lego wearing those things. I had a student once who was on the swim team and she actually drew her Lego figure in her bathing suit that she would wear when she would do swim competitions. So that's an idea for you there. Do you take a dance? Um, you know, show your Lego dressed for something that you enjoy doing and that will tell me a little something about you. And then you can color them in with whatever you want. Marker, colored pencil, crayon, combination of whatever you would like to do. All right. And then once you're done, you take a picture, send it to me so I can grade it. And I am looking very forward to seeing your Lego self portraits and make sure that you have fun with these. And if you have any questions, you can pause and rewind the video and message me with any other questions you might have. And I'll see you guys again next time for art class. Bye.